Okay, in this video we're going to be learning about the diaphragm or we're going to be talking about the diaphragm. So diaphragms are horizontal structural elements with two primary roles in structures. So the first role is that to resist and actually there's no first and second, they just have two primary roles. To resist and transmit various types of load and to tie the vertical elements firmly. So uh, let me give you an example, that way you'll understand better. But before that I can say that diaphragms are horizontal structural elements so let's say if you consider a building what are the horizontal uh, members or horizontal elements so the horizontal elements are the beams and the slabs okay so they're the ones that are playing the role of the diaphragm but in the software when we are doing the analysis uh, before we're running the analysis we have to specify that hey these elements are the diaphragms and this is the center of the diaphragm so that's something we have to do we have to assign the diaphragm and we also have to define what type of diaphragm it is because there are two types of diaphragms so we have rigid diaphragms and flexible diaphragms so that's something that we have to do so before uh, we go in all that nasty work let's just uh, let's just better understand what a diaphragm is and the roles of the diaphragms. So uh, we have the roles written out here, but let me just quickly give you an example to better understand the roles. So let's say that we have uh, some sort of a structure like that. This is a particular flame. Let's say it's a frame that has two pin supports, or maybe let's just consider this as a simply supported frame structure. And you can see uh, I'm putting a load here, a letter load of 10 kips and then let's say this dimension is 12 feet and this uh, height is uh, 6 feet okay now for this particular frame you can easily calculate the support reaction so the support reactions are going to be uh, let's say that they're going to be 5 kip on this end and also 5 kip on this end so this is something that we all understand right now let's say that I remove this horizontal structural element so what will happen if I remove that so the scenario becomes something like that we have one column here we have another column here that don't have a connection and we have a 10 kips load here so the first of all this load is not going to be transmitted to this uh, another vertical uh, another member okay let's say this is the vertical member so it's not going to tie uh, this both vertical members are not tied together because there's a horizontal member missing there so that is covered and to resist and transmit various types of loads let's say this is a 10k lateral load since there is no beam there what is going to happen is that the 10 kip lateral load is going to give a 10 kip reaction in the lateral uh, formation as well so there are not going to be any vertical loads so this lateral load is not transmitted uh, through the vertical members themselves and by when i say that i mean through them so there is no load that's being transmitted in the vertical direction but if we put in a horizontal member right there like if we put in a diaphragm right there then we get this scenario where uh, we have vertical loads as well this load is being transformed into vertical loads okay so that is the role of diaphragms i hope uh, with this ex uh, example you are now understanding the role of diaphragm a bit better okay so yeah that is all i had to say about the diaphragms and this is the example i think i'm gonna keep the example right here for you yeah so that is it for this video i hope you got to learn something new